What's going on guys? Back here with another video today and today of course we're going to be talking about the 2021 Bronco, the latest flashy release from Ford and I gotta say uh, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, really. Truthfully, I'm really impressed. So before we get too far into it, I want to thank everyone that is new to the channel. I want to thank everyone that is new stopping by for this video. I really do appreciate it. If uh, you have time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let us know what your thoughts are down below on the new 21 Bronco. So that being said, moving into this, you know, this Bronco has been hyped for some time now. And to be honest with you, my thoughts and opinions uh, around it with the leaked images and all of that stuff, I really wasn't that impressed. And to be honest, I thought it was gonna be more just kind of a dull, you know, just a standard release of an older model. And um, I just didn't really have high expectations. And I gotta say that this release has really exceeded my expectations and more. So that being said, where does that put Ford with this new Bronco? How are they gonna be able to compete with Jeep now? And you can say, wow, it, you know, it's a direct competitor to Jeep, and I agree with that fully. But Jeep has such a major footprint in not only that space that they have been the sole entity for for forever, but, you know, they have an unlimited amount of aftermarket accessory companies that make parts specifically for Jeeps. And while Ford has stated that they are going to release their own catalog of aftermarket OE accessories that customers can equip their vehicles with, you know, it's it's going to be difficult for Ford to stay in the game for a while. And I think that's why they went ahead and did the $100 deposits to allow more people to, to see, to really get the interest in, see what all they need to do in that department. So, you know, I do feel like Ford with this release has really opened the doors to a lot of different options. And the big thing is, is it is it going to sell? Are you going to be able to pull current Jeep owners away and uh, get them to buy the Bronco? What is your market exactly? Uh, how many people are going to buy this thing? And, you know, I think if we all had extra money laying around, I think all of us would grab one because I think it's a really cool vehicle. It has a uh, pretty capable off-road. So it'll be interesting to see how this thing plays out. Uh, touching a little bit more on the vehicle itself, the two and four-door models are pretty cool. The Sport, you know, I really don't see a purpose for that thing, but uh, I think at some point it would be cool to take all three of them off-road and see what their true potential is. In my opinion, I think the two-door looks the best. You know, I think it does look like a crossbreed between a FJ Cruiser and a Jeep, you know, in, uh, in the looks department. It does have that retro old school look, which I find very neat. Uh, I do think it might be just a slight too bubbly looking, but you know, I, I, I think it'll definitely grow pretty quickly because uh, right off the bat, I thought it would, I thought it looked really nice. So, so I'm excited to see where this goes for Ford. I, I think it's a great path to go down and I just hope that, that they can sell enough to justify keeping this model around for a long period of time. It'll really be interesting to see Je Jeep's next move to see if they are threatened at all by this or if they're just gonna stay status quo and keep doing what they've done for so many years and continue to dominate this space in the auto industry. So one more point to touch on and we'll go ahead and leave this video for the day, but that is the GMC Hummer iteration coming out soon. We all know that that launch has been delayed for some time now and it'll be interesting to see because the claims with that vehicle are electric and a thousand horsepower and just major capabilities and is it going to compete directly with this thing? Is it going to be more of a truck that you know, is, is for the, the light truck market, you know, what is it going to, where is it going to fit in this space? And I think now GM, you know, it'll be interesting to see how they, they respond to this, really. So can't wait for that release as well. I'm happy to see what Ford's done with the Bronco. I think it's great and uh, I'm excited to see how this whole thing plays out. Thanks everyone for stopping by the video today. If uh, we can jump into some more depth of content with the Bronco. I will do my best to do so. Let me know your thoughts down below and any questions you might have surrounding this new 2021 Bronco. Thanks guys for stopping by and have a great day.